Police admit bribe was paid by Taiwanese actress in Bangkok but say she should have been arrested. Commander of the Metropolitan Police Bureau Police Lt. Gen. Thiti S. Aung issued an apology to the Thai public for the failure of officers to uphold the law and do their duty on January 4 last. The superintendent of Wai Kuang Police Station has been moved to an inactive post as National Police Commissioner orders the book to be thrown at errant officers and their commanders over the affair. Senior Thai police officers, on Monday, came out to admit that it appeared likely a bribe was paid by Taiwanese actress Charlene and to police officers on duty at a Bangkok checkpoint on January 4 last. This comes as Cha Wit Kamal visit, the former politician turned anti-corruption campaigner has revealed that a clip of the bribe being paid to an officer is available and that he is to meet the Singaporean boyfriend of the movie star to confirm his story. In the meantime, Metropolitan Police officers in Bangkok have revealed that charges under Section 157 of the Criminal Code are being considered against the patrol involved in stopping Ms. Charlene's car. The senior officer made it clear that the actress should have faced arrest and detention for breaking the law in respect of an illegal e-cigarette or vaporizer that she was found to have been in possession of. Cha Wit Kamal Visit has been in contact with the Singaporean boyfriend of Miss Charlene and, the Taiwanese actress who claimed last week she was extorted out of 27,000 by police officers at a Bangkok checkpoint. Mr. Cha Wit confirms that a sum was paid but police officers, including Metropolitan Police Bureau Chief Police Lt. Gen. Thiti S. Aang Zawang, say it was a bribe and that Miss Charlene and Oren Yu Chang should have been arrested after she was found in possession of an illegal device. This will be the basis for possible criminal charges being considered against the police patrol involved under Section 157 of the Criminal Code. On Monday, at a press conference given by the Chief of the Metropolitan Police Bureau Police Lt. Gen. Thiti S. Aang Zawang, he made it clear that police at the checkpoint should not have released the Taiwanese actress and movie star when she was found to have a vaporizer or artificial e-cigarette device on her person during a search of the four people traveling in a grab taxi stopped at checkpoint including the actress and three male friends. Such devices are legal in Thailand and it is a criminal offense to either be in possession of e-cigarettes including all vaporizing devices or to use them. The law was introduced by the government in 2014 and aimed at preventing a new gateway to smoking for impressionable Thai young people. Singaporean boyfriend, one of three men in the car with Taiwanese actress, who paid the bribe to police officers at the checkpoint on January 4 last. On Monday. It became clear that one of those men was the Singaporean boyfriend of the 32-year-old actress Charlene and Oren Yu Ching as she is known to her fans in China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. Police Lt. Gen. Thiti told reporters that CCTV footage shows clearly that Ms. Charlene and was using such a device when stopped at a checkpoint near the Chinese embassy on the Rajadafasek Road in the Thai capital in the early hours of Wednesday, January 4 last. On Monday. The National Police Commissioner General Damrong Sakiti Prapat moved to transfer the superintendent of Wai Kuang Police Station after it emerged that a bribe of 27,000 had been made to a policeman conducting the checkpoint near the Chinese embassy. Criminal charges for dereliction of duty under Section 157 of the Criminal Code against those involved now thought likely as bribe payment is confirmed. On this basis, the officers involved in the incident are facing both disciplinary proceedings with the case likely to be referred to the National Anti-Corruption Commission NACC, and also criminal charges under Section 157 of the Criminal Code in Thailand for failing to carry out their duty and causing harm or damage to others. At first, it was discovered that they had neglected their responsibilities, Police Lt. Gen. Thiti said. Taxi man adamant Taiwanese star in extortion case was loud and drunk on the night concerned in Bangkok. He confirmed that police were now also pursuing the fact that a bribe of 27,000 is likely to have been paid to the officers to let the Taiwanese actress go free. He said that subject to studying the evidence and following due process, all officers involved in wrongdoing will be facing swift and decisive disciplinary proceedings as well as criminal charges in this case. Existing investigational findings concur with rumors and news reports. Witnesses are being sought to attest to the wrongdoing, the amount of money paid, the source of the bribe for the tourist's release, and both the giver and the recipient of the bribe. Apology to the public expressed by Metropolitan Police Bureau Commander as Police Chief orders Wai Kuang Station boss transferred to an inactive post. The top police officer apologized to the Thai public for the failure of the police involved to properly do their duty and uphold the law. The MPB must apologize to the public for the police's failure to strictly adhere to rules and laws. When new information about the case becomes available, the MPB will inform the public, the Metropolitan Police Bureau chief promised.
The transfer of the Waikwang Police Station boss to an inactive post was later confirmed by the national spokesman for the Royal Thai Police, Police Major General Akion Kraythong. The breakthrough in the case appears to have been associated with confidential information made public by Mr. Chow Whitcomb visit, the former massage parlor boss who has transformed himself in recent months into a hero activist leading the fight against corruption in Thailand, particularly concerning Chinese triad gangs. Chow Whitcomb visit linked to breakthrough in the case as he meets Charlene on Singaporean boyfriend and reveals a clip of the bribe being paid exists. He revealed on Monday that at his own expense, he was to meet the Singaporean boyfriend of the movie star who paid over the money to one of the police officers at the checkout in the early hours of January 4 last. He also attests that a clip of this is to be made available to put the bribe payment beyond doubt although there are now indications that extra CCTV sources particularly from a public building in the vicinity of the checkpoint may also confirm this. Mr. Chow Wit, on Monday, called for police authorities to pay back the money paid to secure the freedom of the actress although it is likely that any such money will be required as evidence of a crime and may also be subject to seizure due to its illicit nature as payment of an illegal bribe to evade the legal consequences of the actress being in possession of an illegal item. Mr. Chow Witt also suggested that the checkpoint in question may have been undertaken by the officers involved on their own initiative and was not officially sanctioned. In the meantime, an internal probe and criminal investigation is being pursued into the actions of the officers. Video footage from the police operation deleted. In this respect, it has emerged that video footage from the helmets and body cams of officers at the scene of the checkpoint appears to have been deleted and this will be a key aspect of the inquiry. Police Lt. Gen. Thede, on Monday, said that a forensic investigation will be able to determine if such footage was deleted manually. The investigation at Waikwang Police Station is now being led by Deputy National Police Commissioner Police Major General Nitin and Pechborum who began his inquiries at the station on Monday. He revealed that the checkpoint in question was in situ for just over two hours on January 4 last and that five of 14 police officers involved have been questioned so far. He indicated that the police were taking seriously the information revealed by Mr. Chow Whitcomb all visit and examining the testimony of all the officers involved. He said he cannot reveal all the details at this stage but indicated that some officers continued to deny that a bribe was paid by the actress. Plans to use penalty points system to make police use proper procedures and protocols at checkpoints. The top officer said that the police commissioner, General Damrong Sok, has ordered that any officer found culpable in the matter must face both disciplinary procedures and criminal charges. He has also ordered that accountability for the situation must extend to police commanders. In the aftermath of the affair, the police chief has ordered the Metropolitan Police Bureau to tighten up procedures to ensure full transparency at all future road checkpoints established in the capital. The police force is considering a penalty points system for police officers on duty which would punish failure to adhere to proper procedures and protocols designed to ensure that such abuses cannot occur in the future.